back to Smart Box. Time now for the Executive Edge. Uh, check out this chart showing yesterday's big drop for several recent hot IPO stocks. Zoom Video, Beyond Meat, and Pager Duty all dropping sharply. Zoom closing down 11%, uh, shaving $2.8 billion from its market cap. Beyond Meat falling 8.5% during yesterday's session as well, dropping its market cap by $700 million. Other recent IPO stocks uh, also fell, including Uber, Lyft, CrowdStrike, Fastly, and Pinterest. Another successful launch for SpaceX overnight. The company's Falcon Heavy rocket blasting off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida just a few hours, hours ago. On board, there were 24 satellites for the U.S. Defense Department and other customers. One satellite, about the size of, the, of a loaf of bread, contains a large mylar sail that will use only light photons from the sun as a means of propulsion to a higher orbit. The experiment's designed to show that space flight by light is possible they also took the remains of lots of humans into space, too, and a former astronaut and some others who had paid to have uh, part of their remains, their families had paid to send part of their remains up into space as well. This really was the size of a bread, it's about, yes, how big it was? The size, size of, of a, a bread, bread basket. basket. Yeah. It's really, normally it's not. It's either bigger or smaller. They said it's size of a bread. Uh, they did. It's I good heard. saying. Yeah, it is. And that seems like a small loss. There was something, I was just looking it up on Dread, something I saw on Elon Musk. Did you read that, Sorkin? I don't know, mix something up with the red moon with Mars or something. I don't know. I got to look at it. I was going to do it. I didn't have time. But uh, This is uh, Elon Musk mistaking blood moon for red planet in a tweet. <laughs> right. Right. You don't didn't tweet. see that? I just wondered. Uh, I don't know the background on it. But I, hopefully he knows uh, a he lot had, about the solar had, system. Uh, he, had, he had tweeted out something that said Occupy Mars. Mm -hmm. But maybe he had, I don't know what the image was. Uh, I don't want to. Pop blood anymore. Your bubble's the, already been popped. The a little image bit. was from a from a blood moon oh, as opposed and to Mars. Mars. Okay. And maybe it was a, it looked like he did it accidentally. Good. Not a big deal, I don't think, right? Um, yeah. uh, we got to give him a pass. We make mistakes all day. Flamethrower. Yeah. Well, speak for yourself. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get a check on a couple of big movers. Uh, let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's look at uh, gold and Bitcoin. We should always uh, look at these. Two together, probably. Uh, there's $1,433 now on gold. That has been get a longer-term chart because that's a six-month high. That's a multi-year high, I think, up $15. Uh, and then uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin trades a lot. I mean, oh, look at that. See, that is a multi-year high on, on gold. And we're up above 11000 now. On we Bitcoin. should look at a longer-term one of this, too. Yeah, we probably should. But it, uh, where's Tom Lee? I saw he was on earlier today. Talk to him again. He's not far off. Now, from his, uh, from his, well, it's not going to happen last year. Obviously. What do you think? You think this is just going to keep going and going and going? Not sure what to think. I, I it, 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 say my, my thing now is it has a value, but I don't know what that value is. The, the issue, though, this is clearly like I don't want to say it's like a momentum stock, but it clearly is one of these things where people think that the train. This is one of those things where like the train's either leaving quick or it's not.